It's time to review a lifetime deal that's going on right now. It's called Rhyme, and it's a gamification application. That means that you can create web games that can generate you leads. Plus, you can also offer coupons alongside with that. So it's pretty interesting, and I'm going to show you what I like and dislike about it. So let's go jump over to my desktop right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? So we're going to check out Rhyme. And like I said, this is going to be a review of what I like and dislike about it. Let me start off with saying, obviously, there's a lifetime deal, which I think is pretty sweet. And another thing that I like about Rhyme is that it's something that it's going to be super easy to implement in your business right now without affecting your marketing strategy, your CRM, or other kind of things. You're going to generate a game and you can have a link that's going to be easy to share or QR code, and you're going to be able to get leads really easily. So it's not complex at all. OK, so like I said, lifetime deal. Let me show you what that actually gets you. So first of all, let me talk about what I like and dislike about it. So there's $49 lifetime deal. You get 5,000 clicks on a campaign per month. So if, if you have a business that has a lot of traffic and you think a lot of people are going to use it, that's kind of a downside. You get five users, which is pretty good. You got two gigabytes of storage, which is more than enough. I mean, you don't, you don't need to upload a lot of things in there, just like PNG images and integrations with Google Analytics, Facebook Pixels, and MailChimp. So here comes the thing that I don't like about it. So first of all, you don't get remove watermark on license tier one. So you'd have to pay $109 to get the watermark removed. And you get and you don't get all future integrations in the future, right? So right now they don't have, for example, webhooks, API, kind of things like automation to kind of send over the leads. So that's something that I dislike about it. And you'd have to get the license tier two at least to get those features. Now, if you want to get access to the custom brand kit, again, jump into license tier three, which is $249. Now you might need to think that this is going to be justified for your business or not, because if you are selling products that are kind of inexpensive, like I don't know, $5 products, $1 products, and you don't sell a lot, well, it's going to be kind of hard to justify buying this. But if you are selling products, I don't know, like televisions, uh, you got a lot of people going to your business, like a coffee shop, and you're selling a lot, then it could be justified because you can offer coupons that are going to give a discount and make someone buy something. Plus, you get the lead that you can later offer something to them. So kind of consider that when you're going to buy this, if you decide to buy it. Plus, there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So basically, if you don't like it, you get two months to check it out and just go ahead and refund it if you don't like it. Right. So let's jump over to Rhyme and show you what it actually does. So this is Rhyme. Let's go into the templates so you can get the feel of what it can do. And basically, it's easy to set up, set and go, and set and forget. Okay. So let's start off with this one. So this is like a coffee jar kind of game. And I like it. You can change the background. You can change the little jar. If I click on it, it's going to drop jars. There we go. And basically, you drop these jars, and it's going to, at the end, give you, if you have the points necessary to gain the coupon, it's going to give it to you. Plus, you can also add a lead generation form. So you can, Capture the name, the phone, and the email if you like. And obviously, you can offer something else later on. So you can change here names, logo. You can add text, change this little jar to something else, change this little background on the bottom to something else. Obviously, if you are a cell phone store, well, you would add little phones that will stack up, right? Kind of like that. And aside from a gamification, it has kind of the, another feature, which I'll show you with this card. So basically, with this type of card, I can use this to kind of let someone know what they need. So basically, I'm going to open up a coffee shop. And in the coffee shop, I'm going to offer a, offer a membership to, uh, I don't know, one coffee a day for X amount of money. So I want to know if I'm candidate to that. So I'll say start. In this case, it's about a credit card, right? But let me show you. So let's just say, what's your monthly income? In this case, 4K to 8K. So if I would sell coffees for that membership, I would say, how many coffees do you drink a day? One or two, three, or maybe none. So I don't know the score also like that one. And it says that I should get this bank card. So it could be like, I don't know, the platinum card instead of the gold card, something like that. And there's several games available that are interesting and there's puzzles, there's personal care, there's some templates and all of these can be modified. Okay. Now there are some good stuff and bad stuff about the, the modification which I'll talk about in a bit. There's also this puzzle one, which I think is pretty interesting. So basically on a phone or on a computer, you can drag this and generate this puzzle, puzzle and finish it off. So here we go. It's kind of like that. And you're going to get a coupon at the end. So let me finish it off. Here we go. 
and boom, we got the coupon for 20% off. You can change the coupon, you can change the percentage, and you can go add buttons here. You can remove these buttons if you like, and you can visit now or play again, et cetera. A lot of things you can do with this. Now, when I mean that this is something you can add to your business right now without affecting anything else, well, you can start generating leads just by that. I mean, it's going to generate a, a QR code. You can use your custom domain if you like. And boom, just let people start playing. I mean, you add a QR code to your coffee shop, to your cell phone store, to your medical consultation and offer some discount for skincare products, whatever you like, okay? But let's just say that I wanna use one of these. I'll go to the all and I'll use this one. So I'll go ahead and create. I'll name this, I'll just say test. Here we go. And it should open up the builder, okay? So here is the builder. You can click on the elements. For example, this is a logo. I'm going to delete it. I'll get rid of it. I can click on this jar and I can change the jar to something else, like a box, a burger or whatever. But obviously what you want is upload your own custom little image, right? Because based on the product that you're going to offer is what you want to use. So you can upload your own file right here. So if it's another type of coffee cup, uh, add your own right here. There's also the Unsplash um, integration here. Whatever you select, it's just going to add it there and you can use it. But if you want to add a coffee cup or whatever, you can do so there, okay? There's also the website URL if you want to add that, okay? Or you can upload your own, okay? You got Elements 2 right here. And there's the Element 2, which is this one right here, this little box, where it's, where it's in this case, this game is where it's going to drop the little box, okay? There's also the images here. So you got your assets, your Unsplash, your website, so if I want to change the background, because basically I just don't like what it has, I can go ahead and change it. Here we go. And I just changed it like that. Oh, that didn't move there. Here we go. There we go. In this case, I'm going to delete it. You can use the Unsplash and website for the backgrounds. There's the text. So if I want to add some text here, I can do so saying, huh, I don't know, play with me. Just go ahead and there. And you get some options here on the top for colors, bold, italic, the font, the style, etc. You get all that, which I think is pretty good, right? Then you get the brand kit. You can add your own brand kit. In this case, I've added my coffee shop logo, which is something I'm going to start. So I can add my own logo here instead of using what they have. Okay. And it's going to be more customized in my case. I'll just delete it for now. You got your colors, you got your logos for this particular brand kit, and you can add more brand kits if you like. The advanced screen, you get three advanced screens. You get the intro screen, which is start playing. You got your lead form, which is if you want to ask for the email, phone number, etc. If you don't want to add something here, like, you know what? I don't want to ask for the phone number. Just go ahead and delete it. Now, when it comes to the elements for the lead generator, there's a lack of options. So for example, I deleted the, email, the phone number one. I can go ahead and ask for it again. But what if I wanted to ask for something else, okay? Or add a lock to it. So there's not a lot of options when I select the elements for this. So maybe the phone number has to have a particular area code or something like that. I don't have those options here, okay? So kind of lacking in that area for the builder. So I think they should really implement a little bit more options for that, okay? And then we have the end screen, which is where it's going to drop in the coupon code that you're going to offer. So again, we can get rid of this image, change it, change the coupon code. So it could be, um, I don't know. It could be SAS Master 20, and there's a minimum score. For the first discount, it's a minimum score of zero, so they'll get a discount. So I'll change this to a 10%. And again, I'll change the text also to 10%. And I'll add a second code. So if they score at least 200, they'll get a 20% discount. And again, I'll change this text to 20%. There we go. So let me click on the 10% one. Here we go. Change it to 10%. Select the second one, 20%. And you can go with the third one, the fourth one, etc. If they score more, obviously they get a higher discount. Okay. So that makes them kind of work for that score to get that coupon code, right? So you get those that options there. Now, like I said, the builder has a, a lack of features that they need to add. But if you're looking for something really easy to create and to start using it right away, this is the way to go. Okay. Now, when it comes to integrations, it's lacking integrations. Google Analytics, MailChimp, Facebook Pixel. I wish they had Webhooks API. So if they're planning on doing that in the future, you will get access if you buy a license year two and above, right? So let's just say that you finish and you like what you created. You go ahead and publish it. There we go. You get a QR code. You can add your own custom domain. So you don't necessarily have to share this link. You get a QR code that you can just go ahead and download it. There's a website if you want to embed the code. 
Insta performance ad that it generates for you. Insta story, website widget, you get all of that, all right? So let's go ahead and copy this right here. Let's go into incognito mode, drop it in. And if pretend someone scans it and they're ready to go, it's going to start. Remember, I added a really funky image. So that's the image that I've added. So now it's going to stack up. And it's actually pretty accurate when it comes to trying to stack it. If you stack it kind of like sideways, it will drop and it'll drop the other ones also. So I like it. Okay. But if you add a really nice background image, a really nice image for the kind of jar, phone, whatever you want to add there, it's going to look nice. Okay. In this case, I'm just playing around just to show you what it can do. Okay. So let's go back into home. There are um, analytics for all of this. You can get the leads all from this and you can download it via CSV. So it's kind of like a manual work. You can't automate it because it, it won't integrate with something that can send the leads. So this one I created, I'm going to click on it and you're going to get all this information. Session started, users visited, completed sections, CTA clicks, performance trend, the, uh, the score analytics here. So the scores that they've made, these, this is me playing around with it and the lead. So I, I did fill it out once. So here's my name, my phone number and the email. And like I said, you can download it via CSV. You can download a CSV to export it later on to something else like a marketing system, a CRM, et cetera, et cetera. That's if you plan to use this as a marketing strategy with your email marketing system or your SMS or phone calls, et cetera. But if you just plan to offer this because of the coupon code, so you can make some extra sales, it's going to work fine. So that's something that I really, really like about this, that it's something that you can implement in your business right away without affecting your marketing strategy, without going through, through any complications. So it's a pretty good buy if you ask me in that sense. But when it comes to custom, customization and integrations, it's lacking in that sense. So if that's a quick turn off, you definitely want to skip this gamification lifetime deal that's going on right now, because it ain't so cheap, $109 or $249. For some types of business, like I said, if you're having a hard time to sell products that are inexpensive, then to kind of get this money back, it kind of be a downside. But if you sell one product and this gets paid off, even if they use a coupon, you definitely want to get license tier three or license tier four. In that case, if you need more clicks, etc., then consider it. But there you go. That is Rhyme. I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And if you want to grab it, link will be provided in the description. It's an affiliate link. So if you use that link, it helps me out with a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more. Well, that's a wrap.